When we're faced with an engineering challenge, chances are nature has already found an elegant solution. Millions of years of evolutionary trial and error has led to some ingenious adaptations and mechanisms. We can use this as inspiration, leading to remarkable innovations in science and engineering, what we call biomimetics. And sometimes we need look no further than our own back garden. Scientists from the Natural History Museum in London and Imperial College London have come together to deliver three of the most exciting innovations in biomimetics. Medical glues have been used to close wounds for decades, but they're often rigid and brittle and can't be used for internal injuries because they can be toxic to cells and fail to stick to tissue in wet conditions when surrounded by blood. Slimy slugs have inspired a new kind of adhesive that could transform medicine. The dusky Aryan slug creates an extremely sticky mucus as a defence mechanism against predators. Scientists have engineered a unique bioglue that mimics key features of this slug mucus. When tested, this biocompatible medical adhesive remains incredibly sticky, even in wet environments, and can undergo movement and physical stress and strain without leaking or breaking. This sticky, strong and flexible glue could be the most successful future alternative to stitches and sutures. Dragonflies are aerial acrobats. They can control the angle and speed of each of their four wings independently, allowing them to fly in any direction, hover and perform astonishing manoeuvres. The dragonfly wing is a live structure, containing hundreds of neurons which provide constant sensory feedback. This is what enables dragonflies to control their flight with such speed and precision. Using specimens and the micro CT scanner at the Natural History Museum to study the wing structure closely, scientists have an ambitious goal to replicate a similar kind of feedback system and make aircraft wings live too. This could mean designing an aircraft with wings that could sense and respond to changing conditions automatically and independently, which could revolutionise flight. Flies are constantly on the move. They have highly efficient visual processing systems, along with other specialised sense organs on the body, which helps them remain balanced and stabilise their gaze as they navigate their environment. By using cutting-edge technology at the museum, scientists are able to look at the anatomy of various fly species in minute detail, right down to the muscles and joints. They can also monitor the electrical activity the fly brain generates in response to visual motion, activity that's key to controlling head and body orientation when the animal's on the move. By mimicking this efficient system in flies, bioengineers at Imperial are opening doors to the possibility of robotic systems like drones that have the right sensors on board to perform vital tasks autonomously. So it's been really great working with Adam. Uh, normally the collections here get used for studies such as taxonomy and systematics, uh, evolution, ecology work. So seeing the collections used for new cutting-edge science, things like bioengineering, has been really amazing. Yeah, similarly, it's been fantastic having access to the collections at the museum uh, for myself and my colleagues at Imperial. Um, often we find that when we look to nature for solutions to engineering problems in bioengineering, often nature's found the perfect solution already and we just have to try and mimic that as best we can.